Welcome, dear science based viewers. I am here with the song dancers of Pujo and Pahali, the lessons Nutrition in Animals and Heat. Thank you so much for your support. Please watch, share, and like. Those who have not subscribed, please subscribe and support. Pujo is fascinated by the highly coiled small intestine. He wants to know its length. Would you like to make a wild guess? Just imagine how such a long structure is accommodated in a small space within our body. Let's check out the answer. As you know, the small intestine is highly coiled and it's about 7.5 meters long. So this highly coiled nature of the small intestine makes it possible to fit in the lower abdomen of humans. Pahili wants to know how food moves in the opposite direction during vomiting. Let's check out the answer. Sometimes when we are traveling or due to bacteria infection, or either to spoiled food or rotten food or if we eat some undigested food what happens it activates the vomiting center in the brain it signals the esophagus and the stomach for reverse peristalsis so what is peristalsis a series of wave like contraction and relaxation muscle that moves food so here esophagus and stomach Push the food in the backward direction. As a result, the undigested food comes out from the mouth. We can call this vomiting. It's usual in some people who have motion sickness. Next question. Pahili wants to know why these animals cannot chew food properly at the time they take it in. Here is the answer. Animals including humans cannot digest cellulose fiber of husk. What is cellulose? It's a main substance found in the plant cell wall which helps the plant to remain stiff and strong. So the cellulose of food is digested in rumen by the actual certain bacteria like ruminococcus albus which, has, which are not present in humans. So what happens? The animals, they quickly swallow the grass and store it in the rumen. Here, the food gets partially digested and is called cut. Later on, what happens? The cut returns to the mouth in small lumps and the animal chews it. And this process is called rumination and these animals are called ruminants. So the grass is rich in cellulose and it's a type of Carbohydrate. Next question. Bujo wants to know why we cannot digest cellulose like the cattle do. In the rumen of a cattle, microorganisms reside which breaks the cellulose into glucose. Human does not have rumen or any place in the stomach where these cellulose converting microorganisms can live. As a result, Humans cannot digest cellulose while cattle can do. Let's check out the next question. Bujo says, My left hand tells me that the water in mug C is hot. And the right hand tells me that the same water is cold. What should I conclude? Here is your answer. As you know, Hot and cold are relative terms. So, if we are in air condition for some time, and after that, when we go outside in the sun, what happens? We feel hot, right? Yes. Same way, suppose if we are in the shadow, and if we go out in the sun, what happens? We feel lesser heat than what we felt when we move from air conditioner to outside. Similar things happens here. When we put hands in different solutions one by one, 
if we put one hand in hot water another in cold water then we put both hands in mixed water first hand will feel cold while the later hand will feel warm Next question Pooja wanted which of the two scales he should use to read Pahali told him that India has adopted the Celsius scale and we should read that scale the other scale with the range 94 to 108 degrees is a Fahrenheit scale degree Fahrenheit certain it was used in use earlier here is the answer As you know the temperature is always measured based on the freezing and boiling point of water and when it comes to our average body temperature it's around 98.6 98.6 degree fahrenheit or 37 degree celsius both indicate the same temperature fahrenheit scale is an old scale for measuring the temperature now we use celsius scale Next question Pahali measured her body temperature she got worried as it was not exactly 37 degrees celsius here is the answer the temperature of every person may not be 37 degrees celsius it could be slightly higher or slightly lower actually what we call normal temperature is average body temperature of a large number of healthy persons Unless there is a significant variation like 39 degrees Celsius or 40 degrees Celsius, there is no need to worry. Let's check out the next question. Bojo got a naughty idea. He wanted to measure the temperature of hot milk using a clinical thermometer. Pahili stopped him from doing so. So the answer is A clinical thermometer can measure only temperature between 35 to 42 degrees Celsius. Beyond 42 degrees Celsius, its mercury will not move further and the boiling milk may even break the thermometer bulb or glass. So Pahali stopped him from doing so. Pujo now understands Why clinical thermometer cannot be used to measure high temperatures but still wonders whether a laboratory thermometer can be used to measure his body temperature in clinical thermometer we need to shake it to move down the mercury level laboratory thermometer however do not need any shake it brings down its own mercury level by itself So we cannot use a laboratory thermometer to measure our body temperature and a laboratory thermometer varies from minus 10 to 110 degrees celsius temperature Next question Bujo wonders why the level of mercury should change at all when the bulb of thermometer is brought in contact with another object As you know mercury is a liquid at room temperature so the liquid expands on heating so the mercury in the thermometer expands when it is put in contact with a hot body as a liquid changes volume relative to its temperature and should be changed at all when the bulb of the thermometer is in contact with another object Let's check out the next question. Pahali asked, does it mean that heat will not be transferred if the temperature of the two object is the same? So what is heat? Heat is a transfer of energy from a higher temperature object to a lower temperature object. So here heat will not be transferred if the temperature of the two objects is the same. Thank you. Dear science viz viewers please share like subscribe and support wish you all the very best